And here's round five. And there's an oops. Remember, do not take the dagger. You do not want to take any weapons other than what you plan on having. Having just come from the last level, you have the holy water, and usually you'll be able to keep it. You definitely want to have it as you approach our third and final point pressing area. Okay, what we have here is a gathering of red skeletons. As you see, they rise from the dead if you leave them on the screen after you whip them. Now, they're worth 400 points every time you whip them. And, as you see an example there, you can combine it with a hunchback to get four kills and throw in some extra points to boot. Taking a small detour here to get some extra points, extra, sorry, extra hearts. We want as many shots of the holy water as possible as we do this. And what we've got is there's a generation point on either side of this dark barred gate for a hunchback. There's one on the left and one on the right. Just move when you want to generate one and it'll follow you. And as long as you keep running away from it, it won't jump at you, and it'll run right into the holy water shot. As you can see from the scoreboard, you're getting lots of points rather quickly. We're approaching the score rollover, and we'll have scored almost a million points on just this loop, as promised. And there it is. So now we've reached 7 million points, and I'm going to loop this game one more time and actually use this level to finish off the 10 million. They have uh, only died once in six loops so far. And I'm going to just keep on uh, repeating this screen, letting the timer run out, and dying. And that will be enough to get me all the way to 10 million. But anyway, you've seen enough of this. Let's fast forward. And at about 1.50 on the clock, we're going to proceed to the end of the level. Once again, it's probably not necessary to use that much time to reach the end, but why take chances? We want to live. Here's our first look at the Axe Knights. They're only in this one stage. Be very careful not to take that axe from the candle there in the upper left corner. We want the holy water for the Grim Reaper. Extremely easy boss with it, extremely hard without.
This entire corridor is actually made really simple thanks to the holy water. Otherwise, the persistent Medu Medusa heads would make it even more difficult to kill the axe. Nice. Okay, here's the easy Grim Reaper strategy. Jump and throw, jump and throw. Hit that upper right platform, and quick and dirty. Without that, we'd get the uh, size appearing all over the screen and homing in on you, which you don't want. <laughs> it is very hard to do, even when you know what you're doing.